Hello and welcome to the November Internationals Round 2 Predictions. Yes, we had a feast of international rugby last weekend and it just gets bigger this weekend with more of the Tier 2 sides um, getting involved. And let's run through those Tier 2 games first and then we'll come back and have a look at the bigger games uh, or the Tier 1 games um, after that. First up, Belgium are hosting Brazil. Now, Brazil um, were downed by Germany last weekend. Um, just trying to quickly get the scores of Germany, 145-12. Um, so, yes, Brazil, this is definitely a testing tour for them. Um, but with Belgium having not had a game last weekend, um, this has got to be a good opportunity for Brazil uh, to get themselves a win um, on tour. And so I'm going to back the away team here, probably by about three. Uh, I think Belgium probably are the better side, but, it, um, but perhaps having just come together, um, Brazil have got a good chance there. Then Namibia get to host Uruguay um, down in Africa. Uh, so that's going to be an interesting one. The two sides obviously made it to the um, Rugby World Cup last time around. Um, bit of a, uh, I'm not sure how this one was going to go, um, but Uruguay are historically the, the stronger of the two sides. But Namibia have been taking part in the um, South Africa's domestic competition, um, the one below Super Rugby, uh, and also have had some training sessions with the Springboks, um, perhaps not this year, but did last year. So definitely things are building there for Namibia. I'm not sure Uruguay have had that same sort of level of competition. Um, so maybe Namibia could sneak that one um, at home. Next up, Spain host Canada. And this is going to be a real test to see where Canada are. They have slipped down the rankings, um, uh, but they still would hope to get to the next year's Rugby World Cup, or oh, sorry, not next year's, 2019 Rugby World Cup, but they have to beat Uruguay in a playoff first, otherwise they'll end up in the repechage. So um, this would be a good test with Spain, one of the upcoming sides in Europe, to see quite where Canada really is at. Um, uh, Canada should, and historically, would have beaten Spain, but I say they are definitely on the down at the moment. Spain are on the up. And maybe at home, Spain could get a bit of an upset. It would be a big scalp for them, a good scalp for them to get. Germany then hosts the um, United States, um, having come off that good victory over Brazil. But the United States are a totally different kettle of fish um, to deal with. A side that does make the Rugby World Cup on a regular basis. Germany doesn't, um, and I can't see them doing so this time either. So the um, United States should have too much for Germany. But again, Germany and other ones are up-and-coming sides um, that will be looking at getting a good result there. Romania, the team that are probably going to come out of the European, uh, as the European um, representative into the Rugby World Cup, since Georgia obviously have got that automatic qualification, hosts Samoa. Um, this should be a big one, big game um, for them in Bucharest, but Samoa should uh, definitely get the upper hand there um, in that one. And then Japan host Tonga, uh, but in Toulouse, in France, not over in Japan, so they are now over here, over in Europe. Um, I say over here because I am actually in France at the moment. Um, uh, so, uh, and you've got to say that uh, Tonga are one of the sides on the up. They have qualified for um, the Rugby World Cup already ahead of Samoa, um, so you've got to say that, they, that uh, Tonga I say, are a side on the up at the moment. Um, Japan are coming off the back of a loss um, to Australia. They did have a bit of a spirited second half, um, but even so, um, I think uh, I'm going to back um, Tonga to, to, to win there. Even though they did, ha did lose to um, the Barbarians um, last weekend, it was a score. It's a quick reminder there, 27-24, um, so it was a close one. Um, over in Ireland. Uh, so right, I'm going to back Tonga to, to win that one. Moving on to the sort of the, the tier one games. And I've got my wrong screen up. First off, uh, we have the um, French 15 playing a New Zealand 15. So basically this is the, as they played at the weekend, uh, this is the midweek game. Um, so we've seen the reserves, uh, or the, the second or the sort of fringe players uh, playing this one. Uh, it's kind of a bit like a French Barbarians, New Zealand Barbarians kind of game, really. It's a non-cap game. And I'm going back to New Zealand to win that one by three. Um, the French Barbarians did beat the Mario All Blacks last weekend. So you've got to say that uh, that's, uh, it should be a comp good competitive game there. Italy then host Argentina. Now, I was backing Fiji last weekend to beat them, but Italy did come up over that. They've definitely seen improvements in their domestic teams this season, and Conor O'Shea seems to be moving them in the right direction. Um, so, and Argentina really have been disappointing this year. They've not been any two on sides. The only victory they've had has been over Georgia during the Junior Internationals. Um, and I've got to say, uh, Italy should be looking at getting a decent scalp here. I'm going to back Italy by three at home. 
Wales then host Georgia. Now Georgia have never beaten the Tier 1 side. I know a lot of people are pushing for them to make it into the Six, the, uh, six Nations and to become a Tier 1 team. But first, but they, say they have never beaten a Tier 1 team. You've got to say Wales win that one quite comfortably by about 15 points. England though then hosts Australia. Um, probably the game of the um, of the weekend really there. Uh, obviously there's been history over these, these sides recently. They both they played each other last November. England obviously toured um, in the previous June as well. So these times have played each other quite a lot. Um, a bunch of injuries for England at the moment. Um, whereas Australia coming off uh, really coming off the back of well initially was a poor June, but they really have built um, this test season. Um, still I'm going to back England at home to win at one by five, but it should be a cracker. Scotland then host New Zealand, um, and New Zealand will probably use this to play. Um, oh, New Zealand got Wales, I think it is, up last. So um, perhaps Scotland is actually the harder of the two games. We'll have to wait and see um, how that pans out. Um, I'm back. I mean, Scotland never beaten New Zealand. I think New Zealand win it on by 10. Um, we need to, Scotland are going to need to step it up after last weekend. Um, well, they got the victory, but really didn't have the performance I'll be looking, looking for. Ireland then hosts Fiji, um, and you've got to say Ireland by 15. Uh, nice comfortable win um, for the Irish who had who beat um, South Africa um, last weekend. And things are looking good over in the Emerald Isle currently. France then host South Africa. Now France put up a spirited performance against New Zealand. Um, and yes, they lost 3-0 in South Africa um, during June. But that tour um, didn't have all their players initially because of the top 14 final. The players arrived late. It was all just a bit of a mess. Um, when they're at home, uh, when they actually have some preparation time, the French team is definitely on the up at the moment. And South Africa is in disarray with talk of um, their head coach getting the sack after this tour. Um, so I think it's um, going back, for, back France by seven there. You also got a lot of players who are internationals or fringe internationals um, heading off and playing overseas. Um, Van Rensburg has been announced today, who's going to be playing for Cell Sharks um, in the off season before heading back to Lions. Uh, to the lines for the Super Rugby season. So um, you've got to say, where are the players' heads at the moment? Um, is the whole situation around the coaching and stuff mean that it's not a place they want to be and they'd rather earn money um, because it's just not a fun place to be at the moment? I'm not sure. Um, but it does all look like a bit of a mess in South Africa. So those are my predictions. Um, always have good rugby chat, so please let me know your um, views down below uh, and uh, enjoy whatever rugby you're watching this weekend. <laughs>